How do I replace my AT&T modem with my own modem? Hello and welcome. Today we are going to discuss how to replace your AT&T modem with your own modem. If you're looking to save on rental fees or to improve your internet performance, this guide will provide step-by-step -step instructions to get you set up with your new modem. What you'll need Before starting the process, make sure you have the following. Your new modem, an ethernet cable, your AT&T account information. How to disconnect your AT&T modem The first step in replacing your AT&T modem with your own is to disconnect your current AT&T modem. 1. Turn off your computer and all devices connected to your modem. 2. Unplug the power cord from your AT&T modem. 3. Disconnect the Ethernet cable from your AT&T modem. How to set up your new modem The next step is to set up your new modem. 1. Connect the new modem to your computer using the Ethernet cable. 2. Plug the modem into a power source and switch it on. 3. Wait for the modem to initialize. The lights on the front should become steady or begin to blink. How to connect your new modem to the internet After setting up your new modem, you'll need to connect it to the internet. 1. Open a web browser on your computer. 2. Enter the IP address of the modem in the browser's address bar. This should be provided in your modem's instruction manual. 3. Log in to your modem's interface. The default username and password should be in the modem's instruction manual. 4. Navigate to the Internet Setup section and enter your AT&T account information. If your ISP requires MAC address registration, ensure that you register your new modem's MAC address with AT&T. How to test your connection The final step in replacing your modem is to test your connection. 1. Restart your computer and any connected devices. 2. Check your internet connection by opening a new browser window and trying to load a web page. 3. If the web page loads correctly, congratulations! You've successfully replaced your AT&T modem with your own. If not, check your setup and connection details again. There you have it. You've now replaced your AT&T modem with your own. We hope this step-by-step -step guide was helpful. Enjoy your new modem and the potential savings on rental fees. Remember, troubleshooting steps can be necessary, so don't worry if it's not perfect the first time. Stay connected, and have a great day!